we might have an answer to a cosmic conundrum that's been bothering astronomers for quite a while. The cosmological principle states that on large scales, the universe should appear the same in all directions and from any location. That is, it's isotropic and homogeneous. However, on smaller scales, we know this breaks down. The fact that you're reading this and watching this means that the Earth is here, we have a solar system, and there are stars and galaxies, which means that on those much smaller scales, the universe doesn't look the same everywhere. Some cosmologists think that the difference between the large scale and smaller scale universes may be responsible for the discrepancy we see between the value for the Hubble constant, as measured from the cosmic microwave background, compared to the value we get when we look at the local universe closer to us. Just a reminder, the Hubble constant is basically a way of expressing the expansion rate of the universe. These astronomers believe our galaxy might be in a local void in space, an area with about 20% lower density than the average of the universe. One tricky thing with this idea is that it turns out to be quite hard to prove that you're in a void like this, and some astronomers reject the whole idea. In a recent paper published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, a research group has shown that it's actually more likely than not that such a void does exist in the universe. They determine this by looking at baryon acoustic oscillations in the early universe. These are acoustic waves in the primordial plasma just after the Big Bang, which are the seeds of structure formation in the universe. These oscillations are frozen into the cosmic microwave background, and by studying them, we can predict what the large-scale features of the universe will end up looking like. The research shows that models with a void are much more likely than models without one at 3.8 sigma. Taking this into account, our local universe would be expanding about 10% faster than the distant universe, and the values we get for the expansion rate at uh, different scales would come into agreement. There's a lot more work to be done on this, but it does seem to offer a plausible explanation for an enduring conflict in observational cosmology. That's today's video. Please drop a like and subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in the next one.